right here, we're going to be doing, actually, I want to try the witches. Uh, I have tons of witches in my army camp right now that I'm going to be showing you, and we're going to use a clone spell to see uh, how this thing works. Now, I've tried this out one time before. Let's see if we can do it on these witches here. So I actually have a lot of questions myself. Uh, so using the clone spell, it cloned all of those skeletons and one witch. Trying it again, it cloned two witches and more skeletons. So I believe this clone spell is determined by how uh, the army camp spaces. I believe it can clone a certain amount of troops. Okay, so if I can get this correctly, we have one witch, so it will clone one witch because I believe she is uh, pretty high in the army camp spaces. Her troop space is pretty high, so it'll only clone one, but I'm wondering if it clones tons of uh, smaller troops, like it does. Yes, it does. Okay. It does clone these smaller troops, tons of them. We have lots of these skeletons running out there and doing the thing. So this is pretty interesting. Oh, wow. We got two witches this time. So, whoa, you guys. It clones a clone of a clone. That is awesome. So you can actually use this to create clones of your clone. As you can see, and the clone doesn't really hang out the whole battle. It kind of evaporates. It disappears and starts blinking. Uh, I would say it has a lifespan of about maybe 15 to 30 seconds. I would say 15 seconds, and then it disappears. I'd have to look at this again and gauge the time on this. But you can have, if you do two clone spells, you will have four witches, which is cool. And they do take damage. The clones are not uh, invincible. They're just like regular troops. They will disappear, but they do take damage, so they can be destroyed. Now, the other question I have is, can we clone heroes? That is a question I'm going to try out here. Uh, who should we do? The king or the grand warden? Actually, you know, I wonder if the clone spell will actually take the um, barbarians and the archers instead of doing the hero. But then again, the heroes are pretty big. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it didn't do the Grand Warden, but tons of archers are coming out. So, yes. It does these... Wow, that's a lot of archers. <laughs> tons of archers. And that's perfect. Okay, guys, so what we will do is we'll go into battle and try all the troops now. All right, you guys, we're back. And we're going to try uh, a variety of troops and just learn more about this clone spell. Now, it is an elixir spell. Uh, so it's not a dark spell. And you will notice... There it is. It has like a... Uh, it has some sort of theme, some music thing that it creates too when you have it out there. And the clone spell only works for a certain amount of time. Let's see how many it does. Oh, okay, so we have uh, three bowlers that he created because a bowler's army camp space was reduced. So, dang, that actually might be really good. Now to think about it, three bowlers? That's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, but I was suggesting, I was saying that the clone spell only lasts for a certain amount of time. So you have to hurry and put your troops in there. Tons of wild breakers. See that? Look at that. The clone spell only lasts for a few seconds, like five seconds, and then it disappears. So you have to be fast. Either you drop your clone spell on a troop and hope the troop doesn't die before you deploy it, or you deploy the spell and then put your troops down one or the other but i know the smaller the troop the more troops that it creates the more clones it creates and the golem yeah nothing i think the golem has too much of an army camp space for it to create that too big of a troop i think it does the smaller troops only pekka's no thank you doesn't do those either they're too high yeah uh we can do the dragon and other troops let's try what can we try next uh how about yeah, why not? We do balloons. Oh, wow, okay. It created four balloons. That's pretty good. That means uh, air troops. <laughs> it actually gives us more clones for the troops that people don't use. How many dragons? Oh, okay, one dragon. That might be worth it. That might be worth it, actually. Who knows? I know the dragons or the, uh, the balloons are worth it, though. Having four extra balloons is a big deal. Okay, 
So we could do smaller troops now. We could do, uh, uh, we've done barbs and archers. I want to do goblins. I think goblins are actually pretty good too. And one healer, yeah, one healers. That's actually not good. I don't think that's any good. That's kind of a waste of a spell. Wizards, oh, only one wizard, what the heck? How about another one? Another spell on him? Okay, yep, and only created one wizard. So not good for wizards either. I would take three bowlers over one wizard any day. Okay, goblins, let's try these. Oh man, he just ran through it. He ran through it again. So you guys, you have to, you have to be accurate with this because it won't work if you're not accurate. Wow, okay, there we go. <laughs> and the clones are creating clones on the other one too. So you guys, that is the clone spell. Uh, I'm not sure of all the details, if I can show the stats or not, but I'm sure all of this will be released very soon so that we can check it out. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the new